intact by organisms, weakened by illnesses, and betrayed by your conditions. That is when we, we need those very special supplements, those vital amines, or what we call as vitamins. So how many vitamins do you all know? Right? Did you say ABC? ABC. I'm going to talk about a vitamin without which our body will actually fall apart. You know, it's so essential. It's called uh, vitamin N or uh, money. Tablu, Dudu, Nasu. So, uh, this, this vitamin is very, very essential. Uh, let's understand this vitamin. Uh, it's found in the natural state, uh, the form of gold, silver, diamonds. But the man-made ones are the most, you know, uh, devastating ones. Uh, dinars, riyas, uh, uh, which I think most of us are seeking out here. Okay. Now, this the money, this uh, vitamin M that, that we call for, so essential for human beings, uh, for our marital and premarital bliss. Say for example, you are going on a date. Now you take this, uh, your date to Anand Bhavan for coffee and uh, an evening kacheri of uh, uh, South Indi uh, Indian uh, classical music and it's all for free. So what do you expect? That girl will wipe you out of a man forever. <laughs> now just put some little vitamin in it. Take her to Hard Rock Cafe for dinner. Then take her out for a Hollywood film, DVR, Gold Plus, probably. <laughs> and be assured that you will get certain favors which will stir your testosterone, which is definitely good for your health. Now, if you're married and if you your wife's birthday and uh, if you don't infuse the right amount of vitamin, then be assured that it will stir up or less less. <laughs> and definitely it will lead a life which will be very, very bad for you. So now, let us look at the chemical composition of this. Uh, I'll, I'll just wipe. Let's understand this compound. This, you understand, is the base atom. And you have... Is, uh, that is uh, a very important tie that these people have. See, uh, money can hold many other. Items. See, this is a link which you go on. <laughs> That's, how it is. That's how it is. So this chemical, uh, this composition gives you an example uh, feel of what it is. Okay. Now, this uh, with uh, vitamin M. What what is the actual uh, feel of it? What happens? when you take it. Now, this, this is uh, a very contagious kind of a thing. For example, if you have a, a neighbor who's got a Mercedes E-Class, a 56-inch LED TV, or at least three uh, mobile phones, then you could be better. If your child goes to school and sits next to someone whose father is an expat and wife is a social, mother is a socialite, then be sure that this will slowly be now this is so contagious that you start showing the same symptoms. So you'll tap, be tapping on your iPhone while talking to someone, or you'll honk on your new sedan car, even though there's nobody in front of you. <laughs> so that, that is how this. Now this, there are two way, two kinds of uh, uh, illnesses. One is a deficiency, which you can see here. Somebody like him is afflicted by this, or an overdose of vitamin. So it ranges from an auto, auto shavala to a politician. It can affect anybody. Now this, once it is afflicted, it is the first stage of vitamin, overdose of vitamin M. Now what are the next stages? Let's look at a classic case. This patient. This patient, when he was born itself, he had a liberal dose of vitamin M. So by the time he was in a young age, he was in the second stage already. But what happens when the, in the second stage? This person has a great affinity for vitamin M. He start accumulating it. He'll hold it. How? In banks, namely Binar. Right? And in uh, Swiss banks and land. And he'll park his uh, jewelry amongst his various 
wife or he is hungry. <laughs> now the point will come and I will call it a tipping point. It's very important when he will feel the urge to spend it. So what does he do? He will buy the Tipu Sultan suit for 5 million dollars. He will buy a yacht for 15 million euros. Then he will buy an island. Then he will buy a seat in the Rajya Sabha. Then he will fly in his private jet to attend the parliament for what? To eradicate poverty in this country. Now this is the final stage. This person is, uh, is seeking a treatment, but our government and State Bank of India is actually treating him now, just like some of these. <laughs> On a serious note, even nations get afflicted by this illness. That's why uh, nations like uh, England, who colonized half of the uh, world, you have nations like US, which will create violence and strife in regions like the Middle East, Africa, and South America. What does it do? It wants to come, uh, bring its arm deals, arms business, it wants to control oil. It, want, uh, it needs to pillage the natural resources of these poor countries so that they remain poor. Now he will ask, if these nations are affected by this, who are we, how can we control it? Of course we can. Now I'll just ask him, when you have some excess of something, what do you do? What do you do? Share it. The next thing you would. Right? Now let's say you are diabetes. Uh, you have excess uh, <laughs> high uh, sugar. Can you give it away? No. You have high blood pressure. Can you give it away? No. You have excess of fat, cholesterol. Can you give it away? No. But, but vitamin, excess of vitamin you can give. You can. So go on. Share. Give. If you can't adopt a nation, adopt a child. Give to the poor, the needy, take care of the old. So, Toastmasters and my fellow guests, take the new year resolution, try to give, take this opportunity, and if you're really wanting to do this, I'll be waiting right outside. <laughs> Thank you.